friends, welcome back to my channel. Also, if you are new, welcome. My name is Cambria. In today's video, we are focusing on organization. If you've been following me, we have gone through tips on how to keep your house clean. We have gone on tips of how to declutter, and now we are going to talk about organization. So in today's video, we have some typical cleaning going on, but what I really want to focus on is giving you guys some motivation to get some organizing done, some inspiration and ideas of great organization, uh, tools that you can use, as well as just some easy tips and tricks that I think will make it a lot easier as we go. Now, when I organize, I do like to start in at least somewhat a clean space. So in my kitchen, I just wanted to quickly tidy everything up before going and really getting into the organization. All right, so we are starting off in the pantry and it was a bit ago and I don't even remember where I heard this, but someone said you should organize a space the same amount of times that you go in it per day. Now, that really did motivate me, but I also wanna make this more realistic because I have young children and people probably go into our pantry more times a day than there are in months, uh, days and months. So. I am not organizing my pantry every single day of the month. However, it did just kind of like, like I used to maybe do it once every couple of months or something like that. Now I really try to do this minimally once a month that I go in here, pull everything out, wipe it down, declutter the stuff that I'm either not using, is expired, anything like that. Um, so that is something that I think a lot of us can take into consideration. I think often we organize a space and we just are like, okay, we organized it, we're done. And that is something that like is definitely not a thing. Organization, one, you rarely get it right the first time. And two, it's something you have to maintain, just like maintaining a clean house, decluttering, organization is exactly the same way. And it's not a one and done thing. We have to stay on top of it. But the great thing is, is if you stay on top of it, a project that the first time may have taken you a couple of hours should only take you 15 or so minutes the next time, as long as you are staying on top of it. I think this pantry literally only took me about 15 minutes to quickly go through it, organize it out, and put it all back together. Now, one thing I really like taking advantage of when I am in a pantry is vertical space. So I love these Lazy Susans. They are perfect to put the condiments on, some of my canned foods on, and things like that. That way I can see everything and it's not just getting buried in there. I also love these. They're actually for like soda cans, but I use my cream soups in there because I keep a lot of that on hand next to keep it nice and easy. Uh, but even you can see I used my ramen in it. There's a lot of different options. A lot of times when you're organizing, you need to think outside of the box because something may say it's for cereal, but you could use it for your rice or something maybe for soda, but you can use it for your cans of soup or vegetables and things like that. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do if you just think a little bit more out of the box. I like using wicker baskets, as you could see, for like my pasta and rice and things like that, and just kind of changing things up. I don't have a huge pantry, um, 
which in some ways is a blessing because I don't hoard so much food, which means food doesn't go to waste nearly as often. But it also means you have to be a little bit more strategic about your organization. And it's all because of you. Did you think I'd forgive, forget it all because of you? It'll be clearer in a second, all because of you. Now just doing a quick cleanup of the microwave. It wasn't too bad, but I wanted to quickly get it cleaned out. So I just put a microwave safe bowl with some water in there for five minutes. That way it steams, makes it really easy to clean out. And then I will clean out the outside and the tray and stuff while well, that works. But I feel like if you ever had a smaller space to organize, you actually get much better at it because you have to get clever with it. You have to change things up. I know in Bobby and my first house, we had a very small kitchen. I think we had about three drawers. Uh, no, three or four drawers. Um, cabinet space was half the cabinet space we have now and no pantry. So figuring out where food went, where dishes went, you didn't have all the knickknacks and things like that. Like you naturally had to be more minimal to make everything fix, fit. Um, and I used to actually take some of my canned goods and pastas and things like that. And our stairwell to our basement had a small little ledge going down and I would actually use that ledge as like pantry space in our kitchen. And I think working in a smaller area really does teach you how to be a little bit more practical and think outside of the box when needed. So after I let the microwave steam, I then go in with some Dawn Power Wash just to really wipe it down good. And then I'll even go in with my Thieves Cleaner just to kind of get polish it out. But for the most part, when you steam, that loosens it all up. But the Dawn does help because you're still going to have grease and stuff in there. So you need a good degreaser to really get it all clean. All right, now moving on to the freezer and all right, guys, be honest with me. When's the last time you emptied and cleaned your freezer? If you're anything like me, it's been a second. When it comes to my fridge, that is an area that I keep up with. I try to do a good clean out, wipe down every time we go grocery shopping. That way it just stays well maintained. But when it comes to my freezer, it's a lot more neglected. So today we are tackling that. I am emptying the ice. The great thing about this is I empty the ice, but it also works really well to use that ice to clean out my disposal. Plus, I know any new ice going in there is all fresh and I don't want to say clean because it's all clean, but you know what I mean. Nice, fresh ice as well as going in and vacuuming out the freezer that way any of the crumbs and stuff. It's amazing how many crumbs get in there because you're like, how? It's just frozen food. But it happens, stuff falling out of the fridge or whatever it is, it gets in there. Um, and as you can see in my freezer, I also have an area that something that obviously was put in here was leaking slightly and needed to get cleaned out. So just making sure that all the big chunks were taken out and then I go in with my vacuum and vacuum that out before wiping it down.
Now, when it comes to cleaners, I use my Thieves cleaner, but you can also use a mixture of water with a little bit of bleach or vinegar and water, whatever it is that makes you feel the most comfortable. I like to use things that are a little less harsh when it's in a food environment, which is why I like using my Thieves cleaner or vinegar and water. Those are usually my two that I'll go to if it's my fridge or my freezer. But it always feels good to give it a really good wipe down and reorganize it. I noticed my freezer was just starting to get kind of crammed full of stuff and harder to uh, keep track of what we had and what we didn't. So I'm kind of changing it up here. I decided on this top shelf, I wanted to make this all stuff that the kids grab for for quick meals. Um, so often when the boys get home from school, even though they've had lunch and breakfast and everything, they're usually hungry after school. So that means they'll make a corn dog, a frozen pizza, something like that. I like to have stuff on hand that is easy for them to make themselves. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm often busy when they get home from school, finishing, figuring out what we're making for dinner, uh, still working on other stuff in the house. So having something that is easy for them to grab and go is a win for me. I know some people are going to be like, oh, I like to cut fresh fruit and vegetables and all that stuff. And that is great. Um, but I also know there's people like me that we focus on healthy stuff when it comes to main meals, but also we like to have fun snacks and easy stuff for the kids. So that is what that top shelf is. We got some burritos, we got some pizza, we got some corn dogs, we got some fun stuff up there. And then I decided on this side is where I'm going to have all of our frozen vegetables. I always have a lot of frozen vegetables on hand because my kids love broccoli. Spinach is like the best vegetable to sneak into almost any meal. <laughs> and meat goes on the left side. And I will say so far, this has been working out really, really well. And then after I'm all done, I'm just quickly retidying up the kitchen that way I could move on to other areas of the house. Give it to you, this is done. Yeah, this is done all right. We are through on repeat. Can we put this to sleep? All we need to is walk out the door. I think that none of us did wrong, but why didn't we end this right? Can we put this to sleep? Days like this is also days that I love having a robot vacuum that vacuums and mops because I was able to get all this organization done, do a quick wipe down of everything, and then I just scheduled my narwhal to come in here and finish the job while I moved on to more stuff. Um, I know I mentioned a lot of my cleaning gadgets, and like I've said in the past, they're not necessities by any means, uh, but my vacuum mop, so my cordless vacuum mop that I use, and my robot vacuum mop are things that I always tell people, if you can ask for Amazon gift cards for Christmas, for birthdays, and save up, they definitely do make life a lot easier when you are just trying to get a million other things done, and it would just be nice if something could take one thing off your to-do list. I actually got my very first Roomba right before Bobby got deployed. He actually got it for me for Mother's Day because he knew I was getting real stressed out about him being gone, us having two young children, and then me still having to work, take care of the house, and all of these things. And ever since then, I haven't been without a robot vacuum. But into our bathroom, we are giving this rug a really good cleaning. I don't use my carpet shampooer on this rug because it never gets it that well. And I think it's because of the texture of this rug. So I like to either take it into my shower or on days like today where it's really nice out, come outside, give it a quick scrub, rinse and let it dry in the sun. Um, I am just doing this by hand today. I've used my scrub brush sometimes, but I don't know. I didn't. I don't think I charged it. I think that's why I didn't grab it is I went to grab it and then it wasn't charged. So reminder, plug in your cleaning tools because otherwise you might be having to do it like this. Luckily, this is not that hard to do. It's not that big of a rug. And because I stay on top of it, it 
is fairly quick and easy to just quickly scrub down and then rinse off. I've also just used my power washer in the past to clean this rug and that works really well also, but it is definitely my favorite when it is nice enough outside that I can throw it over the fence to let it dry. I always feel like it just smells better. It dries better. Um, and if you didn't know, the sun is actually a natural bleach. So if you have whites that don't seem so white or like this where I want this rug to just stay nice and bright, hanging it out on a line or over a fence or something, the sun actually works as a natural bleaching agent and helps with that. So that is what I'm doing today. I just rolled it up and wrung it out as much as possible because when these things are wet, they may be small, but they are still heavy. Uh, and then just quickly throwing it over the fence uh, that way it could dry while I worked on the rest of the bathroom. Um, you would have seen a couple videos back. I don't even remember how many videos back that I got these different organizers from the Home Edit. This is the collection at Walmart that I got it from. I got one that said it was for silverware, one that said it was for bathroom, and then I think one that said it was for office. But like I said before, ignore labels on organization things because often you can use things in multiple different areas. That's actually why I specifically got three because I wanted to see like what came in each one, what really worked well, and really play with that as I went through and organized out all my stuff. Now, luckily, I had done a good declutter of these areas, and I had semi- organized them of like what I wanted in each drawer. So today was more of just a puzzle to figure out how I wanted it to sit in these drawers. And you may think, okay, why use organizers in a drawer? The biggest thing is when you're opening and shutting these drawers, things roll and slide all over the place. So being able to, to contain something in an organizer does truly make that drawer stay so much more functional. So like I said, a little bit of a puzzle here. You don't always get it right. And this is often stuff you don't see on social media is the try one thing, then try the next thing. And maybe this didn't work. And for all I know, in a month from now, I may have to redo this because it's not quite working for me. But like I said before, organization is not one and done. This is definitely something that you learn, you maintain, and it evolves as you evolve. You're constantly going to be changing stuff or learning something new, and that's okay. Like I said, it gets easier as you go, so it's less overwhelming the next time you need to organize. So the left side of this vanity is all my stuff. So up top, I kept my moisturizers, anything that is like for my nightly skincare routine or morning skincare, I want it in that top drawer. I don't wear makeup every day. There are some that I like to wear. I do have a tinted moisturizer that I use pretty much daily because it has an SPF and everything. But when it comes to makeup, it's not a everyday occurrence. So I put that in the second drawer. But these center drawers are kind of a mix between Bobby and I. So I wanted to just organize this out a little bit better. We've got a lot of teeth care stuff. So I decided to make this whole top drawer just stuff for our teeth. Um, it didn't start out that way. But as I started actually realizing how much stuff we had, it quickly evolved into, okay, this is just for when we brush our teeth. 
Um, like I said, it's a learning curve. You got to play with it. Things are going to start one way and then change. And then as you add stuff, move stuff around, it's definitely a puzzle, but you can have fun with it, with these different trying to figure out what works best for you. This is also the why I've said, don't buy organizers until you declutter and do a basic organization because it's really easy to overbuy organizers and how many people, and I am raising my hand right now, so I am one of these people, have bought something to organize and then it didn't work in the space. You took too long to return it, so you ended up just having to donate it or get rid of it uh, be, when the next time you decluttered because you bought it and didn't use it. Like I said, my hand's up right now. I have done this before where I have bought stuff before really figuring out a space and then never used it and basically wasted my money on it. Um, so it's really good to declutter, do a partial organization, and then buy your organizers when you already kind of have an idea of what you need. I did see a really, really cool trick. Um, now, I don't live anywhere near a container store. It's all the way in Orlando. Uh, so on a good day, it's going to take me about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. That's on a good day. Um, but I saw someone that took parchment paper, cut the parchment paper to the size of their drawers, and then went to the container store to get containers that would exactly fit her drawers. Genius. If you're going shopping for something like that, I highly, highly recommend it because, yeah, absolutely genius because you do a lot less of the puzzle that I'm doing here. I noticed Bobby's drawers were a lot dirtier, but I don't go in his drawers nearly as often, so mine I wipe down fairly regularly. His pretty much never, um, so I wanted to go in here and vacuum up any of his little beard hairs that were in there, wipe it down, and get it all clean and organize out his stuff. I will say though, once I was done with Bobby's drawers, he was outside working when I was doing stuff like this. But when he came in, I made sure right away to like bring him to the bathroom and be like, okay, here's your stuff. I didn't move anything except your toothbrush because he had kept his toothbrush in that other drawer. And I'm like, well, if I'm making the center top drawer all teeth stuff, it might as well have his toothbrush, my toothbrush and everything together. Um, but I made sure to show him because <laughs> he does always, whenever I do any type of declutter or organization, he's always like, where did you put stuff? I can't find anything now. So that's actually why I don't normally touch his side is I know even if I move it a little bit, he's going to be like, where's my stuff? <laughs> but on this day, I really wanted to get in there and get it really cleaned. So I made sure to show him afterwards. Oh, also, these jeans, I am obsessed with them. It's another thing I found on the TikTok, sh TikTok shop, which, yes, I know, it, it's a horrible influence. However, I do love these. I hate wearing jeans, and the biggest reason is because of my C-sections. I've had two. Um, jeans are very uncomfortable when they rub on my C-section scar. So unless I, like, need to wear them, I hate wearing them. It hurts to sit in them or anything that rubs on that scar area. So these are the Halara. They're jeggings, I guess, but they look and feel like the material is jean material, but in legging form. I love them. They look really, really nice, but they don't hurt to wear. So if you guys have seen those and you've been wondering, my honest opinion, I absolutely love them. I don't feel bad cleaning in them or anything because they are super comfortable. Um, but like I said, most importantly, they don't hurt because that is usually a thing for me. I'm also still really, really liking this mop I got. Um, I do still have my O-Cedar. If you saw when we did the little like refresh in the dog room, the tile in there, because it's more textured, works better with the O-Cedar. However, in the rest of my house where it's 
fairly flat, this one works great. I point that out because I want when pe I'm like recommending stuff to people for them to like understand everything. Um, so I love this mop, but I think if you have tile or any type of floor with a lot of grooves and texture to it, I would stick with your O cedar because I do believe that works better. Um, but as you can see, I'm just in the family room doing a quick clean and tidy in here now. Now, the kids' bathroom isn't that bad, actually. It looks like they have a lot more drawers than they actually do. Uh, four out of these six drawers are fake. <laughs> they are just there to be there. It's actually these only these two center drawers that are actual drawers. So I'm just going in here real quick, wiping them down. I'm sure you guys understand if you have kids, the drawers in your kids' bathroom get full of so much gunk. Usually it's toothpaste and things like that. So I wanted to really clean these out and then add in some of these organizers that I had left over from our bathroom and help organize out their stuff. I know Freya's got a lot of things for her hair. So being able to put it into one of these, the boys deodorant and then the toothbrush and toothpastes. And then this other drawer is pretty much just to be left empty. We do have a couple things um, that go with different things in the bathroom. Um, so I can't remember what they are, but they're little pieces to go with other stuff. So I'm just wiping this out and keeping it empty. There's no reason for us to have anything in this drawer. And I think it's okay to have empty spaces. I feel like people feel like if a place is empty that they need to fill it and you don't have to. If a place is empty and you don't need to use that space, don't. It's totally okay to have an empty space. So definitely let me know what areas in your house you need to organize. I feel like organizing is something that you can almost round robin in your house. Start in one area of your house and slowly go through the entire house. And by the time you get to the final spot, you could probably go back and start with number one. So it's definitely a never ending project to be able to stay on top of it and keep it working. So definitely let me know what you need to get organized today. Is it your pantry? Is it your silverware drawer, your junk drawer, your bathroom? Like I said, I know there's places all over the house. Closets, I actually need to do a little bit more organization in my closet as well. So that's probably going to be coming up really soon. Um, but like I said, it's a never-ending project. It's one of those things of... By the time you get back to where you started, it's time to start it all over again. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you here. This is the best community here on YouTube and some of the best people to just lift you up and get you motivated. Leave a comment down below and introduce yourself. But also like, comment, and share this video. I greatly appreciate everyone who shares my videos every week. It means so much to me. But I'll see you next time. Bye. You don't need no